I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about the program, explain exactly uh, the girls, uh, or identify the girls that we're targeting, and um, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of, of uh, what we're trying to do. So research into girls and boys at risk of criminal and gang-related activity identify different, uh, distinct differences in how risks are processed and experienced by the sexes. They concluded that these differences may be rooted in how societal norms and values are interpreted, internalized, and then acted upon by boys and girls. The Youth Advocate Program records show that although girls present with similar risk factors as boys, how the girls in the program experience these risk factors and the strategies that they use to cope with them is different. One example of what I mean by different is that girls are more likely than boys to internalize risk factors um, that they experience and internalizing often results in coping strategies that are self-harming like drug usage. Research shows that girls at risk of criminal and gang related activity tend to have higher rates of drug usage than, than do boys. Research have, has also identified a causal link between certain gender-specific risk factors and delinquency. In particular, girls' risks increases if they have, been ex have experienced or been exposed to sexism, gender-based exploitation, sexual abuse, child pornography, prostitution, and poverty. Their vulnerability intensifies if these life events are coupled with one or more of the following environmental risk factors such as alcohol or drug use, criminal activity, high commitment to friends involved in criminal activity, family members who are criminally or gang involved, conflict between home and school life, a lack of a positive adult role model, chaotic home lives, fighting and bullying in the home, and violent attitudes. The Girls United program will target 20 girls between the ages of 12 to 14 in the Youth Advocate program and girls outside of the, the Youth Advocate program that present with a similar risk profile. The program will tackle these risk factors head on and Girls United is not simply activities or programs offered to girls but rather what we're talking about is developing an unconventional approach with content that is gender specific and speaks to the real lives of these girls. Drawing from the ex expertise of our partners, but most particularly from the girls in the Youth Advocate Program, we are developing a comprehensive and compassionate approach to addressing the maladaptive coping strategies and harmful behaviors that these girls have adopted as a means of getting through a life that they feel powerless to change. Girls United wants to break the dangerous cycle of toughing it out from one day to the next and provide the girls with, a, with time and space to heal so that they can build up their resiliency and move towards a more healthy and life-affirming future. The program modules will be designed to increase the protective factors of self-reliance, resilience, pro-social and life skills in the girls. The risk factors form the basis of each module and will drive the content. The modules will be delivered using a variety of methods including outdoor adventure-based pursuits, field trips, guest speakers, recreation, sport, health, and wellness-based activities. The venues will also be varied, and they include HRM's Adventure Earth Center, scuba diving, whitewater rafting, outdoor pursuits, camping, the East Dartmouth Boys and Girls Club, HRM Recreation Centers, and Banana Republic stores, to name just a few. It's anticipated that eight modules will be delivered, and the length of each module and the number of sessions required will depend on content complexity, intensity of the subject matter, and on the girls' level of engagement. A sampling of the module topics are self-worth, vulnerability and courage, leadership and teamwork, communication, trigger recognition, independence, relationships, negative self-talk, empathy and sympathy, social media and employment. An initiative like Girls United requires the helping hands and out of the box thinking of organizations and individuals who are willing to try something just a little bit different and are willing to open up their thinking about this population and who are comfortable with a model that centers the decision making with the girls. Partners like Atlantic Youth, Banana Republic, Hartwood, Active Halifax Communities, Family SOS, The Red Road Project, Dalhousie University's Resilience Research Center, East Dartmouth Boys and Girls Club, the Elizabeth Fry Society, HRM's Adventure Earth Center, Kachina Health Associates, the YWCA, HRM's Youth, uh, Community Recreation and Culture, Halifax Youth Attendance Center, and HRM's Community Art Facilitator. Lastly, and certainly not least, I'd like to thank the Nova Scotia Department of Justice Lighthouse Grant Program, 
The Lighthouse Grant will give the Youth Advocate Program staff, our girls and our partners, the time and the resources to develop, to pilot, and to evaluate this initiative. We want to understand better what works for these girls. We want to learn and we want to share what we learn with others. Without investments like this and community-based initiatives, programs like Girls United would not be developed. Thank you.